Shalom, brothers and sisters. Today we're going to be looking at uh, using God's provided way because in every generation, you know, God has come with uh, ways of uh, achieving uh, that perfection that we are supposed to be because we're told we have to be as perfect as our Father which is in heaven. So today we're just going to look at uh, what are the ways that we can uh, fly in the word of God and be able to achieve everything that we need uh, in this life. We are told by Brother Branham that everything, that uh, if you take a small um, apple tree, when you plant it, where do the apples come from? Do they come from the ground? or they are in the apple tree? The answer is simple. They are already in the apple tree. So when you use God's provided way in the end time, remember, it's not everybody who is going to be able to use that. It's not your responsibility about somebody else, <clears throat> but it's about you finding that way. Because if you can't find that way, then, you can never ride on the wings of Jehovah in this earth journey. Remember, as we said, we are all sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, but there is a way. Isaiah talks about a highway. Most denominations, most Christians think, oh, it's a highway to heaven, it's a highway to heaven. Yes, it's a highway to heaven, but there is a way. If you read that scripture in Isaiah, it says there is a way highway and a way and that is the way of truth it's like if you've got two issues you'll have one for and one for against and the truth is always in the middle so it's that way of jehovah that he is provided for his children remember that god is not providing a way for the children of the devil he is providing for his own way the way for his own children Somebody once said to me, if he was so merciful, why does God burn his own children? And I said, no, he's not going to burn his own children. It's the children of the devil that are going to be burned. The children of God are not going anywhere near hell because they are predestinated, foreordained to believe in that particular hour that they come up to. So we're going to read the scripture. It will be Deuteronomy. As an eagle stareth up a nest, Fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, bearing them on her wings. Remember when God prophesied about uh, the Jews many years ago that he was going to bear them on the wings of an eagle. That was fulfilled after the Second World War when they were given Palestine by the United Nations in 1948. What happened was when they went into there, we're not talking about the Jews that are towns folk, you know, this on the stock exchange and so forth. We're talking about the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ or something like that. No, we're talking about the Jews that were still plowing with uh, their cows and so forth. The really, really Orthodox Jews that believe in Jehovah is there. And when they were taken to the aeroplanes, they were surprised, they said, no, we, we, we're not going by aeroplanes. And then the rabbi stood in front of them and said, Lord, what did the prophet say? Because the Jews always believe they're prophets. It's the Gentiles that they have a problem with prophets. Yes, or they choose their own prophets. He said, you, you will carry us on the wings of an eagle. There is the eagle. That was the only way that they convinced them to go on the planes to be taken back uh, to Palestine. I thought about this as I was walking down in, in this quarantine town. It was a bit windy, so as I watched the birds flying when I was walking, there was a dove that was flying close to me. And I saw that it flopped twice, and then it started using the wind to maneuver. And then there was a swallow as well that flopped three, four times, and then it started gliding. And I say, this is good. If only Christians could come to a point where you set your wings on the word of God, 
then you start gliding. The reason we are suffering, the reason we have to maneuver by ourselves, the reason we have to use calculators is because we have not surrendered like the other animals. You know, animals, they still live the same way that they did when they were created. Yes, they still do. So what they, the animals do is they use the system. We have been told as well by Brother Brennan that if you want to know the best weather forecast, it is the hog, the wild hog. It knows, or even the horses, they know when there's rain coming. We know when the tsunami is coming. They know when the earthquakes are coming. But man, who is supposed to be higher, because he's found his own way, his own denominational way, my denomination or nothing. Brother, it's always Christ or nothing. Your denomination does not stand in the word of God. Your denomination will not be able to save you. Your denomination did not go on the cruel cross of Calvary. Your pastor did not die for you. Your prophet did not buy for you. It is always Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even as I'm doing this uh, uh, presentation, I have two doves that uh, live by my house. They've just had uh, two uh, you know, fledglings. So I'm watching them all the time and I'm feeding them as well, because I like doves. I used to keep doves when I was younger, way back in Zimbabwe. So we have to find God's way of doing things. And many times it's always God manifest himself in simplicity so that it goes over the, the minds of those that are educated. That's why sometimes educated education is a detriment to proper Christianity because it militates, it fights against the belief of God. Because remember, there are two trees, two trees from the beginning in the Garden of Eden. The tree of knowledge, which is education and all these military interventions and so forth. And then the tree of life, which is God himself. So whichever tree you go on to, because remember, as we are living in this world, we have to eat, we have to drink, so we go and get some education, nothing wrong with education. But remember that education tree, the tree of knowledge has got its limit, like I've said in the other video. My PhD is not gonna be useful when I die because it's a one use. It has got an expiry date. When I expire, then it expires also. But the tree of life is no expiration date because it is eternal. It is Zoe, God himself, tabernacled in human flesh. Let's have a look at some of the ways that, they, 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 <clears throat> that we've been given today. Brother Branham tells us, you know, the, the, the Old and New Testament are wings that we should be riding on. So if you want to go in God's way, you must believe entirely the Old Testament and the New Testament including things that you cannot understand. Because remember, God has got dispensations. You don't want to know much about the days of Noah, because these are not the days of Noah. So for each dispensation, there's always a prophet, because the Bible says in Malachi 3, the Lord does nothing until he reveals his uh, uh, secrets to the prophet. So in each generation, there's been a prophet that has been given straight from Genesis to Revelation, who has been given that mandate to take a people for Jesus' name. And remember, a prophet from God will always point you to Christ. And a prophet of God, or even a good preacher, a preacher of God, will always shun money, women, and popularity. Because those are the three things. If you look in the Bible of all the prophets where they failed, those are the three things that they fail on. And in this hour, I am convinced that the messenger of this hour is none other than our brother Branham. When I, I wasn't, nobody testified for me to come into the message. There was a sister, I was running my own company in, in, in Zimbabwe, in Harare. There was a sister who was working for someone uh, who was in the world like me, but she had the book on the life of William Branham. And then she just came to my office one day. I thought you must, might want to read this. 
And I think that was the correct way for me to repent because me, I don't take anything from anybody. I like to search things. So when I read William Branham, his life history, there was a synergy, an understanding between me and him. And I knew because I, the thing that I said to the sister was, I didn't know there were people in this world who were so honest about their lives. Because remember those that have read the book or read the message uh, books, the way we know Brother Branham, probably we know him more than some of the people we live with because he was honest with his life. Everything was in the open. There was no hidden agendas. Many people have hidden agendas, even preachers as well, when they preach, <clears throat> they're trying to achieve a certain something. But for Brother Branham, the thing that he wanted to achieve was the glorification of Jesus Christ. And remember, as an elected member of the Bride of Christ, your whole purpose of being here on earth is to glorify Jesus Christ. And many times that comes through ashes, trials and tribulations. So when you get through your troubles, God is glorified by the testimony that comes under. St. John chapter 9, verse 1 to 3, the man who was born blind, it was for the glorification of God. And you as the believer, you must know that your life was given to you for the glorification of God through the testimonies that he has ordained for you in this hour. So when you see trouble, don't try to run away. <clears throat> go straight into it because when you can't go through it, God will give you a way over it or a way under it. It's not up to you to conquer. That's where the problem is because human beings, we're different from animals because we always want to use our own mind. And that is where we miss God. But when you say, Lord, this is the problem. I am putting it in your hands and just step back and be patient with God. <clears throat> it's good to be patient with God. Don't think you can ask now and then just get it. It's not always miracles. Is that adulterous generation that's always looking for miracles. So prophets are a sign from God to put together a bride in that particular age. There was a bride in Moses' age, Abraham's age, and all the other ages, Paul's age. <clears throat> and we have a bride in this in time. And I believe without any doubt in my mind that the prophet that God sent for us was William Branham. For some of you who have never read about William Branham, just find the books and read the story of William Branham. And you will be hopefully convinced because he shunned all the things that all these other denominations, preachers, planes worth 30 million, and yet in the same church, there's people that are dying of hunger or homeless people. So we must use the system that God has given us, the Old and New Testament, those are the wings. And birds, like I said, they use those wings according to the atmosphere. If it was not windy, like the day I was walking around, then the bird would be flopping more. But because they know how to use the system of God, when there's a wind, they just flop, and then they just start gliding. They just just steering to go wherever they want to go. They are not going against the grain. They always go with God's provided way, but men always going against God's way. That's why we've got all these problems. Even the, the, the fish, when they're swimming, they're not thinking, oh, I can go down, I can go up. But it's natural, it's a natural process. So when you get born again, when you receive Christ, when you are changed from inside out, it becomes a natural process for you to take God at his word. And faith is our victory. Faith is what delivers us from all problems that we have. Have a little look on the way, on the, video on faith because i'm not going to repeat everything that i said in there but faith is our victory 
So what does the prophet of the hour say? This is in the word, in the message, the faith that was once delivered to the saints. He's talking about a Negro uh, that he was watching as he was uh, in the forest. I thought, oh God, give us faith to know how to set our wings in your power and just ride away from the earthbound chatter chatter saying little old squirrel sitting there chatter 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 the days of miracles is past some churches believe the miracles are past that's why people are dying in many numbers god is still the healer no such thing as divine healing and no such thing the apostolic days are gone the apostolic days will never be gone because that's how God is provided. In the days of Peter, he provided. Today, he's provided the same word because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And in the message, hear ye him. This is what he says. All right, let's have a look. You know what he done? He had a knowledge. So my people are dying because of lack of knowledge. That these wings was given to him for a purpose. So you as a human being, as a Christian, what wings have you got? The Old Testament and the New Testament. Those are the wings you use. Those wings will not function when you say the days of miracles is past. When you say some of these things are Jewish beliefs. When you say uh, some of the things that the apostles did cannot happen today, that is a malfunctioning wing but when you believe the old testament and the new testament in its entirety then you've got your wings that you can fly from any problem from any sickness they were given to you for a purpose doesn't paul say in the new testament that all the old testament was written as a type for our examples so he just set his wings and when air waves come in, he rode upon them. Because if a bird is going against the wind, then it's going to be working hard. It will have to be flapping very hard to be able to move away or to, 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 to go where it's going. And he went higher and higher, not flopping his wings, just knowing how to set his wings and riding on the air waves. And he went on and on till he became a little speck. He was watching an eagle, like I was watching the dove the other day and the swallow. So by setting your wings on the Old and the New Testament, which are the wings that God has given us in this end time to fly away, to use for our healing, to use for our deliverance from all the problems that we have to use even as the third pool, which is the time that we are in now, to speak and go forth. You can speak fufu, you can speak sada, you can speak money, because God has provided, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. But because the human being is always trying to find his own way, that's where he gets at loggerheads with God. You must be able to synergize, to come into the process of God and go with him. It's like some of these swings, I mean, things that you go in, uh, I think, uh, what's the, what are they called? You know, you go this way and that way and upwards. Some of these scary things that we ride on. I found out years ago, if you don't fight it and just go with the flow of the machine, you are not crying, you are not uh, shouting, but those who are fighting it, because they are trying, the machine is taking it that way and you want to go that way, that doesn't work. You must be one with that machine even if it goes that way, it comes this way, it goes sideways, whatever, forwards and backwards, go with it, ride on with it. So if the word takes you this way, 
Ride on with it. Never mind what other people think. Ride on with it. If it, take, it takes you this way, ride on with it. It takes you down, ride on it. Because the Bible says, all things work together for good to them that love the God. So if you love the Lord, it doesn't matter what situation I am. He's more than able to take you out of that situation. In fact, he puts you, trust, trusted in you to put you in that particular situation because he knows you can beat it. Shalom. God bless you.